plan is simple, elegant. Listen to Lester, pay attention to the information he gives you, and we'll all make a buck. Okay, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment here, viewers, doing the jewel store job mission. Actually, I had cased out the jewel store. I wasn't going to do it, record that. You have to do that anyway, but then you have two options, and I chose the um, quiet option. And for that, you're going to need knockout gas and uniforms for the um, bug people, exterminators. And I'm going to show you how to quickly get both items and the actual, um, how shall I say, nerve gas, the easiest way to do it is kind of a little difficult, but if you do it right, you can do it without having police problems. So let's get on with this and I'll show you the bug stuff first. The exterminator van and uniforms, what you want to do is you want to come up to the back end of the warehouse area and you want to sneak in and take down the guy right in front of you. Now, no one else will notice, and you just come up behind the guy, you clonk him, knock him out, and then you sneak around to the front of the van, and rather than drive it forward, you shift into reverse, run the guy over, and then you can escape with the Bug Stars van and bring it to where you need to store it. Hey Lester, we got a pest control van. Good. Now we just need the knockout gas. I'm on it. With the knockout gas, you need a motorcycle. The trick is to ride the motorcycle far enough in front of the van to get it to stop. And then you get off the motorcycle, jump out with a when you get off the motorcycle, you want to make sure you have a gun already selected, and you shoot the driver. Grab the van, and all is good. The secret, as I said before, is to get in front of the van. Make sure you have a weapon already selected. Once you get the motorcycle in front of the van, you have a few seconds where the driver is going to hesitate shoot him, get him out of the van, you will be able to do this and not have any police interference. Yep, that worked out well. Now the long drive to the garment factory. The main mission for Jewel Store job starts right after you deliver this van. Hey, Lest, I got the good night guess. That's everything we need. I'll put out word that the score is ready to go. Now we all know why we're here. We 
We've got a store to take. The plan is simple, elegant. Listen to Lester, pay attention to the information he gives you, and we'll all make a buck. If things go bad, you know the drill. This wasn't organized. We don't know each other. We got caught up in a robbery and acted in self-defense. But it's not going to be an issue, because everything's going to go just fine. The, um, the uh, alarm system is easy. Now, if I didn't need to be running things, I could have it offline myself. No problem, but uh, you should be able to get us a pretty decent window. How decent depends on the job you do. Now, uh, once it's down, you signal Michael, he makes the call. Things look good. We should be able to drop a present right through the air vent on the roof. Everybody goes to sleep, no problem. We take our time. If we run into trouble, we move quickly and with force. Any questions? No? Let's go. Frank, you're with me. Paige, you're in the truck with the bikes. Eddie, Norm, you got the van. See you on Little Portolo, people. Initials only from here on out. And now the drive to the store. And, well, I'm just going to fast forward through it because it's just Franklin and Michael talking. Walk Franklin up to the roof to toss the tear gas or what? No, not the tear gas, the knockout gas into the vent. And then the robbery can begin. Yeah, this is pretty cool, but, you know, things never really quite work out. You can accidentally run out of gas canisters. I got an angle. What's taking you? Sit tight. <laughs> Shit, not quite. <gasps> not yet. <gasps> yeah. Didn't run out, so let the robbery begin, and it's going to be fun. I wasn't thinking it was... Well, think about it like this. I mean, I always say that... I told him to fix that goddamn AC! What's going on? Let's go. Go, 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 go! I'm on it, I'm on it. I've been able to get you around a minute and a half before the alarm... If you stay calm and pay attention to what is going on in the radar display, you should be able to smash all of the cases and take everything. And I did it, so the take was pretty good. This is a classy joint. Pick it up, man. You're dropping more than your bag. These hands weren't built for delicate work. You're good at this, Em. A minute left. Who made this shit so small? Get in there, shit! 50 seconds. Not a lot of time left! Screw these rich pricks. 40 seconds. All right, we're running out of time. We gotta step it up if we're gonna hit the target. Yeah, baby, we got it all. Let's go, let's go. It's quiet out here, man. We go now, we get away clean. So for the last time, move it. Hey, get the fuck out of my face. Oh. You forget a thousand things every day, pal. Make sure this is one of them. I see you at the river. Go. Go, go, go! Stay on. Important part is to stick with the two guys and follow them. You can do it close and close in, and you just follow these guys. They will take you to the river area where you need to go. But. One of the guys, I hate to say, if you don't pay a good enough amount of money for drivers, etc., well, 
you wind up losing something. And that guy gets knocked off and you lose his bag. Yeah, I'm going to fast forward through the tunnel ride. Hang in there, boys. I got this covered. One of the things you might want to remember is who you used on this heist because they gain experience and if they were already very good to begin with on your next heist when you use them they will be even better. Now like I said you get what you pay for you're always better off paying for more experienced crew because the cut is more but the job gets done, and the payout is usually going to be more. Here's to the first of many. Come on, nothing to see here. Call your gym guy, Lesty baby, because we got merchandise. All right, people, we need to split up. They're going to be looking for a crew. I'll wire your cuts when the rocks have been sold. Man, that shit was crazy, dog. So what now? We get out of here. Keep our heads down. Hey, you did good, kid. What'd I tell you, Lester, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, look, everybody take off. Hey, Franklin. Listen, Lester and I got some things we gotta clean up. I want you to stop by the house a little later on. We'll celebrate, all right? All right. Okay. <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. We're back in action. The mission worked out well, and Franklin ends up in a strip club which I'm not going to show. He ends up talking to his ex-girlfriend, in which she is moving on in life. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you found this video interesting and informative, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave a comment. And I post four video game related videos a week. Hit the subscribe button and bell icon so you don't miss out. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And don't just stop at the end of this video because I got some failures next. As always, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, it's town.